Hi guys, well today we're going to be taking a look at the 1080 Amp Extreme. So after reviewing the Strix 1080, we had a few requests to have a look at this card today, and I can tell you right now that this is an absolute beast of a graphics card. Zotac has not only equipped Amp Extreme with a custom cooler, but they've also slapped on a substantial overclock to both the GPU and the memory. And that uh, overclock is uh, you know, beyond what other partners have even dared to use. And uh, so this card is shaping up to be one of the fastest that you can get your hands on. Amp Extreme arrives with a triple fan configuration as part of their Ice Storm cooling system. And joining the RGB movement, Amp Extreme also comes with Spectra lighting, giving you plenty of customization over the styling. So this here is touted as the fastest 1080, so what is the price? Well, you can pick this up for £614 in the UK. Over in the US, it is around $730. So this card is actually cheaper than the Strix 1080 that we checked out just a week ago. And on paper, it looks like it could offer better performance. So guys, stick with us as we check out this new card in plenty of detail, you know, having a look at all the features and then doing some gaming benchmarks at the end. Right guys, well we're going to begin with the packaging. So here is the box which our Amp Extreme arrives in. As you can see, it comes in that uh, renowned colour scheme in which uh, Zotac uses. Uh, now the features are listed along the bottom here. The extended warranty, by the way, is five years with this card. Now the usual sort of thing with a graphics card from different uh, partners is that you would get two or three years. So obviously five years is a massive amount of warranty and uh, it's going to be one of those factors which will become quite important when you are buying a graphics card. So flipping this over, on the reverse there we've got even more uh, sort of a listing of those features. We've got the Ice Storm, which is the cooler spectra, the RGB lighting, the, the eco fans there, which are part of that cooler. We're going to go through all of this stuff uh, as we progress through our video, so stay tuned for that. We've got the minimum specifications and the technical spec. Now inside the box we have the graphics card in this bubble wrapped anti-static bag that is nice and protected. And we've got the documentation in this envelope. So inside there we've got the quick installation guide and more info there on that extended warranty. And then we've got the driver CD with the Firestorm software that is for your RGB lighting. So it's nice and handy to have that uh, in the box but obviously you would want to get the latest anyway directly from the website. We also get a case badge inside there. And the other things that we've got are these two uh, 6 pin to 8 pin connectors. This is for your power and let's take these out just to show you the quality that we get there. You can see these are nice and braided. Okay, and here is the Amp Extreme in all its glory. So we know that this card is obviously a flagship product because it is from the 1080 family, but even so, the extent of this card is on another level. It is colossal in size. Taking centre stage for the Amp Extreme is that cooler, which uses a triple fan configuration. So that cooler there is what Zotac call Ice Storm. And we'll have a look at the finer details of this cooler and all of the components underneath a bit later on when we remove that heatsink. So externally, we have a metal shroud, which bears an aggressive aesthetic uh, adding in a section of carbon effect styling and you know it is a shame that you don't get to see the full extent of this because the top side is obviously facing the bottom of your case. Zotac have done a fantastic job on this design. Now since we are in the era of RGB lighting, Zotac has equipped our Amp Extreme to have those RGB LEDs with their Spectra system and you can modify the colours and the animation effects by using the Firestorm software that Zotac supplies. Now we said this card is colossal in size and right next to this reference GTX 980 you can get a scale of how vast this card is. So let's do a quick measurement now as this will give you guys a bit of an idea of the size of the actual dimensions and whether it will fit inside your case. So for the length, Amp Extreme is round about 325mm, and the ruler isn't actually big enough. For the width, you're looking at 125mm, and then the height is 58mm. So with that height especially, it will engulf three spaces on your board and two on your case. Now, since this card is an Amp Extreme, we have a factory overclock applied to it against the reference Founders Edition. So, the base clock is sat at 1771, and that boosts up to 1911 MHz, and the memory clock operates at 10.8 gigabits. So this is shaping up to be one of the fastest 1080s that you can get your hands on. The 1080 is designed for and capable of ultra high def, and as such it arrives with the 8GB of GDDR5X. Amp Extreme is also PCI Express 3.0 compliant, is DirectX 12 ready, and it supports OpenGL 4.5. 
So as we said, Amp Extreme will occupy three spaces on your board and two on your case, so just make sure you've got enough room there. And on the back panel here, we've got a variety of different ports to use. Uh, so we have the one dual link DVI-D, giving you up to 3K, triple display port 1.4, as those can give you up to 8K at 60 hertz. And we also have one HDMI 2.0, and that offers up to 4K at 60 hertz. So the best video out to use is probably display port, and certainly if you're hoping to output to anything greater than 4K, then that will be an absolute must. Now the Founders Edition of 1080 requires 500 watt for the power supply and arrives with a single 8 pin connection. And with our Amp Extreme, Zotac are actually specifying the same requirement for that 500 watts as well, which is quite a surprise really when you uh, consider the customization on this card. However, we do need to use twin 8 pin connections for the power delivery. In between those PCI connections, there is an LED which lights up red when those cables aren't connected, and then it shifts to green when both connectors are in. The usual SLI ports are on this card to allow you to pair up with multiple cards. However, as pointed out on the other 1080 reviews, the benefit with the 1080 is that we can use SLI high bandwidth, which effectively doubles the bandwidth from one gigabyte a second, which we had with the 9 series, up to two gigabytes a second. And I believe some NVIDIA partners are selling these separately and NVIDIA themselves. Now just flipping Amp Extreme over, on the reverse there we've got this large metal back plate which protects the PCB from getting scratched and from flexing. And as you can see we have power boost on our Amp Extreme. Now this is basically some decoupling solid caps which have a fancy metal cover. The idea with power boost is that we'll get reduced ripple noise and power fluctuation. Now I don't know what you guys think but uh, although this back plate does bear the Zotac theme, it could well interfere with a blue or red config. But of course if you are designing everything to use yellow then this will look great. And that to push the limit slogan there, that will light up when the card has power. Right guys, well we've taken the cooler off our Amp Extreme and here is the solution which Zotac are using. So here is what is known as Ice Storm. So we have a trio of 90mm Eco fans which as you can see have these mini blades towards the centre. And the idea being that airflow isn't just driven from the edge but also from the inner region too, reducing dead spot and maximising on the efficiency. And these fans will stop spinning if the system is in an idle state below a specific load. And those fans sit on top of this gigantic heatsink which uses six copper heat pipes in a bid to direct as much heat away from that GPU as possible. Now, having taken the cooler off, we can also check out the PCB. So Amp Extreme utilizes an 8 plus 3 phase design, which is all digital, and this card also features an independent heatsink there for the VRM. We also have those extra power connectors there for the RGB lighting and that triple fan setup. So the driving force behind our 1080 is the NVIDIA GP104. So that uh, uses a 16 nanometer process and it is based on the new Pascal architecture. And so Zotac has, as we've already mentioned, applied a significant overclock to the GPU. So this card is likely to be one of the fastest 1080s around. And it's interesting that they've also ramped up the memory clock speed, which is something that manufacturers tend to leave at stock. Okay, so next we're going to do some quick benchmarks with our Amp Extreme to give you guys a bit of an idea of what kind of performance you can expect. So for the games, we're going to be referring to our usual lineup. So we're going to be testing out Dirt Rally, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Star Wars Battlefront, and Doom. And for each of these games, we're going to be sticking with 4K for the resolution. So based on the results that we get, uh, using a smaller resolution is going to result in more frames. Now in the full review over on Vortex.net, we're going to be taking a look at other games, comparing the Amp Extreme also to previously reviewed cards, such as the Strix 1080, so head over there for that. And while we check out these games, we're also going to have GPU Z running in the background to pick up on the max GPU temperature. So we'll jump out of Doom for that and to have a listen to the cooling fans under load. Okay, so let's begin.
Now we've still got Doom running and I'm going to get my microphone off and get it as close to those cooling fans as possible just to give you guys a bit of an idea of uh, you know when this card is fully loaded, what kind of noise levels you can expect. Okay, and if we just come out of Doom, we can have a look at the temperatures. And there we go, in GPU Z, we've got a max temperature there of 74 degrees, which actually isn't too bad at all. When you think the, uh, the Founders Edition is around uh, 10 to 15 degrees hotter. So that in a nutshell is the 1080 Amp Extreme. It comes with that heavy overclock, not only on the GPU, but also the memory too. And that translates to one of the fastest 1080s that is currently gracing the market. So if you're looking for a 1080, you're not sure which one to go with, then you can't go far wrong with this one here. If I was buying one, which it may be very soon, I'd probably go with this, especially since you get that massive five year warranty. Now guys, a quick look at the uh, the prices, although they are changing, they're fluctuating uh, from time to time at the moment because of the short supply, it does appear that this card here is positioned as one of the cheaper custom designs out there. And for anyone who's perhaps moving up from a previous generation, uh, you should see a nice improvement there in terms of the performance in the latest AAA titles. Now the cooler on this uh, particular Zotac card, Ice Storm, I know it's a cheesy name, uh, it does perform exceedingly well. Uh, you're unlikely to hear anything from those cooling fans as they are whisper quiet. The only thing I would say with this card is that it is very heavy, especially since that shroud is metal. Uh, so if you're moving to a new platform, it might be worth considering grabbing a board which has those uh, the reinforced PCI Express lanes. Now guys, as always, the full review for this particular card is going to be on the screen in the description very soon. Head over there for even more benchmarks, more analysis and uh, whether we could squeeze out an overclock on top of that factory overclock. Now, uh, that is it for me today, guys. I do want to hear from you uh, some feedback. What would you like to see next? Uh, let me know in the comments box below, and we'll have a look. We'll see what we can do. So please hit that like button, and also subscribe if you haven't already. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you guys in the next video.